The Witch is a five elixir epic troop that has been in Clash Royale since the soft launch of the game on January 4th, 2016. This troop has existed even longer since 2013 in Clash of Clans. What makes the Witch stand out from any other card in Clash Royale is its history. The Witch has been changed 16 times over the past six years, which is more than any other card in Clash Royale history second place being the Barbarian Barrel with 11 changes. Despite being changed so much, in Grand Challenges, she currently sits at a 2% usage rate and a 26% win rate, easily making her a bottom 10 card since she has the fourth lowest win rate and the 14th lowest use rate in Grand Challenges. She hasn't been viable for quite a while now and her last change was over a year ago. This begs many questions. Why has she been changed so much? Why has she been so bad for so long now? Why hasn't she been touched for over a year now? How come nothing they've done has made her balanced? In this video, I will be going over the history of the witch and talk about why she still isn't viable in today's meta and why she likely never will be. First, let's go over the history of the witch to try to get a better understanding of her. As I said before, she was added in the soft launch of Clash Royale, and only a week later would the Witch receive her first change. This was a small set of balance changes, as only four cards were touched. She was considered to be good at the time, but it's hard to say how she would hold up if she was the same today, since the game was brand new and everyone was still figuring things out. The Witch's change was mostly just to keep with consistency. You see, when Clash Royale first came out, there was no tournament standard. In addition to this, card levels all started at level 1, rather than today where a higher rarity starts at a higher level. This meant a level 1 epic was equal to a level 6 common. So you would expect a level 1 witch to spawn level 6 skeletons, a level 2 witch to spawn level 7 skeletons, etc. And if you remember the times before the update that simplified levels, you might remember that this was the case. But for the first week of the game being out, the witch would actually spawn skeletons one level higher than she was supposed to. So a level 1 witch would actually spawn level 7 skeletons and one level higher for each additional level the witch was. This means, yes, in the first week of the game's history, a level 8 witch was intended to spawn level 14 skeletons, despite level 14 not even being a thing yet. I say should, because I don't think Supercell made level 14 cards yet. The mirror didn't spawn card levels one higher level at the time, and I couldn't find any gameplay of a maxed witch in the first week of the game's history, likely because very few, if any, players had actually maxed her out yet. I'm skeptical of this because when the mirror was changed to spawn level 14 cards at level 13, it simply didn't function. If you used a level 8 mirror to spawn a level 14 card, nothing happened, as if level 14 cards didn't exist. Although, the wiki does say a level 8 witch could spawn level 14 skeletons at the time. Goblin barrels would also spawn goblins one level higher than they should have been at the time, and this was also changed in the same balance change to scale correctly. I'm not exactly sure if this was the case originally because they wanted to make epics feel more special by making them spawn troops of a higher level even though it would scale improperly, or if this was simply just an oversight. Because it was changed so quickly though, my guess is that it was the latter. For the next few sets of balance changes, the witch had received several buffs. On February 19th that same year, her damage was increased by 3%. The skeletons also received an 11% hit point and damage buff. Only 10 days after that, she was changed once again, but it was more of another bug fix as she would no longer stop if its target died while her attack was charging. Then, on March 23rd, her damage was increased again by 5%. Then there was a May update that year as well, which also fixed a bug for the Witch, where she would attack troops five and a half tiles away when her rage was only supposed to be five tiles. But a month later on, June 21st, 2016, she would get a damage increase of 17%, and this would be the last time she gets touched for the rest of the year. The Witch wouldn't actually be changed much for the next two years. In 2017 and 2018 combined, she was only changed a total of four times, compared to the seven times she was changed in 2016 alone. On February 13th, 2017, the Witch's damage was again increased, but only by 6% this time. However, this was still a big interaction change because now it would one-shot skeletons. Even with this interaction buff, however, she still wasn't very good and she wasn't performing well. Her sister the Night Witch even came out around this time and was destroying the competition, leaving the Witch in the dust. 
It was apparent that nothing was really working for the witch. She would get buffed and buffed and buffed, but still was never really seeing her place in the game. She was always kind of there for newer players to use and then throw away later for better cards. Also, lots of new cards were just being added that countered Witch too well for her to be viable. So on June 12, 2017, she would receive a pretty big buff. She got a health buff of 5%, which is the first time they ever touched the Witch's health. Her splash radius was increased by 10%, and waves of skeletons would spawn every 7 seconds rather than every 7.5 seconds. However, her skeleton spawn speed would change so that instead of skeletons spawning instantly when she was played, they would take a full second to spawn. This made you have to play her slightly quicker to use her as a reactionary. That wasn't much of a big deal though. This overall change would certainly help the witch, but she still wasn't spectacular and her use and win rate would fall as time went on. Over a year after that last change, on July 2nd, 2018, the witch would get another health buff of 17%. Her skeletons would spawn every 5 seconds rather than every 7 seconds at the cost of her hit speed being slowed down from 0.7 seconds to 1 second. That's essentially the hit speed of a dart goblin decreased to the hit speed of a minion. This is Supercell's Reasoning, read by Clash with Ash. Witch has long played second fiddle to the Wizard, Executioner, and other ranged attackers. She has the lowest win rate in the game, which is disappointing for one of the starting epics. Instead of buffing her damage, we opted to lower her damage and make her a tough skeleton summoner. The idea at this point was to separate her from cards like Wizard or Executioner, make her a powerful skeleton spawner. Her big problem was that she was a long-ranged splash unit but she was constantly outshined by Bowler, Wizard, or Executioner. They wanted to buff her in a way that would make her stand shoulder to shoulder with these cards, but also allowed it to be unique. The Witch was certainly strong at this point, she was actually considered to be a pretty good card. The biggest change that she had during this brief period of time was that she was able to survive a fireball plus a log. Surprisingly, after the Witch buff, guys, first of all, she creates uh, a skeletons at an astoundingly fast rate. Number two is that even after that fireball or that poison, she still has like half of her health left. That health buff to the Witch was insane. Again, fireball or poison plus log does not kill her any more. She had finally made it. But then in September of that same year, her health was nerfed by 3.5%. Why would they nerf her at this point? You could argue she was too strong at the time, especially because this was during a meta where Valkyrie was essentially dominating the game. Yet she was still dominating in everywhere just as much as the Valkyrie. But in my opinion, the nerf was unnecessary at the time, and they should have just waited a bit longer for the meta to settle. 2019 was a very interesting year for Witch. On April 1st, the Witch was given death skeletons, meaning when she died, three skeletons would always spawn where she died. And as you know, a 3.5% health nerf is not a lot, so the fact the card needed another buff after this goes to show maybe the card didn't need that nerf in the first place. But rather than walking back this nerf, they gave the witch a brand new ability? I will say I played a lot around this time, and I think the power of the witch at that time was very overblown. This was most likely because the Night Witch had death bats and they were trying to make it more consistent with her because the Night Witch was a much more balanced card, but that didn't really make any sense because the Night Witch was a legendary and that was considered her legendary ability, so why are you giving a legendary ability to an epic card? But that wouldn't last long. Because on October 7th, 2019, the Witch would receive the biggest rework a card has ever gotten. Almost every aspect was changed about the Witch. The Witch's health, hit speed, splash, and skeleton spawn speed were all nerfed. As well as losing the death skeletons she had received just a few months earlier. Her skeleton spawn speed also changed from 3 to 4, and the skeletons would now spawn around her, more like the Clash of Clans Witch. Oh. And I also should mention that her damage was increased by 220%. She did more than triple the damage that she did before. This meant she did almost as much damage as a wizard. Which is funny, because in earlier changes it seems like they were trying to keep her as separate from wizard as possible. Now, most of the changes may have seemed like nerfs, but this change absolutely broke the witch. The community seems to be kind of 50-50 on the new witch. A lot of players saying that she's way better, a lot of players saying she's way worse. After the new balance update, the witch just does so much damage and it feels like a musketeer that spawns skeletons. Shifting her from a spawning machine 
to a damage machine. If you guys missed my interview yesterday with Seth, he actually compared the witch to a musketeer. The witch can finally take out a balloon? Some people are saying too strong and very interesting. Like, she'll take out wizards because the wizard has to, like, hit the skeletons individually. But I still think her tower's dead. Mm, yeah, probs. Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Wait, the witch just killed the ice wizard? Because I really wanted to talk about Ruskov getting to number one in the world with the new witch and the new wall breakers. Both cards, he says, are significantly better. Because I see a lot of people calling out Rumham on Twitter and stuff saying, yo, do you actually think she's balanced? But look at our witch on the tower. Look at our witch on the tower, guys. Come on, witch. One overextension on this deck and you automatically lose your tower. It's incredible how offensive it is. Watch the witch here, y'all. The witch is actually gonna be able to take out this baby dragon. And our witch is still alive. Look at how much more damage it does to the tower, guys. It's like a musketeer almost. Oh my gosh, that's insane. Witch had become not just the strongest card in the game, almost objectively, but one of the strongest cards that had ever existed in the history of Clash Royale. And this was in a meta where Executioner was extremely strong as well. The meta had completely revolved around the Witch at this point. Decks were completely constructed to either play Witch to her fullest extent or to counter Witch. Because if you didn't, you would get destroyed by it. Poison and Bomb Tower exploded in use rate at this time purely to counter Witch. Actually, I shouldn't say it was purely because of the Witch. The Elixir Golem was also very, very good during this time, which is why the Bomb Tower was mostly really good. But this was still a notable time because the Bomb Tower had been considered a very bad card for several months and hadn't received any changes in a long time. Night Witch had also received a decent buff that made it used a lot with these cards as well. The Witch finally had her time in the spotlight. All the attention was on her. Her and a few other cards, as I mentioned, were controlling the entire meta. People were calling for emergency nerfs, but Supercell refused, most likely because they emergency nerfed the Executioner just a few months earlier after they buffed it, and it killed the card super fast. They did not want to make that mistake again. You see, during the time, Supercell was finally cracking down on cards that just weren't popular and completely reworking how they functioned as a strong attempt to make them viable. So, for the entirety of Season 4, the player base just had to deal with the witch being an absolute menace for the game. It's also heard that big reworks were planned for Bowler and Wizard as well, but were cancelled due to the Executioner and Witch ones being very unsuccessful. Balance changes were monthly at this time, so you already know what card was at the top of the nerf list this month. And oh boy, did Witch feel the pain. Less than a month after the witch had received her unpopular rework, Supercell made her stats even worse. Her hit speed was increased from 1.4 seconds to 1.7 seconds, which meant she now attacked as fast as a Spear Goblin. Her first wave of skeletons would now take a full 3.5 seconds rather than 1 second, which made her much, much worse as a reactionary card. This change was actually so massive, so I just want to play an example of what Witch was like during November of 2019, just so you can really see how slow this actually was. Her splash damage was also completely removed, making her a single targeting troop. This didn't just kill the witch. Supercell put her in a coffin, buried the coffin, and nuked the ashes. The witch was worse off than how she was before the October rework. Supercell realized that these major reworks for long-term underused cards was only hurting the game. So Supercell admitted this as a mistake and that the witch would be reverted back closer to her pre-rework state. So less than a month after this detrimental nerf, she was given her hit speed back as it was changed from 1.7 all the way back to 1.1. She was also given her splash damage back, but her damage was reduced by 49%. Her health, skeleton spawn formation, and skeleton spawn rates, however, stayed the same as the rework had taken from her. The health nerf was a major problem because she would die to fireball and another two elixir small spell which made a big difference. This wasn't enough, as the witch at this point was still one of the, if not the worst card in the game. In February of 2020, her first hit attack time was changed from one second to 0.7 seconds, which is actually the only stat that had never been touched from the witch. At this point, the witch was just about in the place she had been for the longest time, 
She just sat on the sidelines, waiting for Prince Charming to come in and give her the buff she needed to have a place in the arena. It was unsure how Supercell would even buff the witch at this point. It seemed like they had tried everything and just couldn't become balanced. Some speculated that they would just let the witch stay dead and give up on her. Some believed they were just taking a break to focus on other cards. Over 10 months later since her last change, however, in December of 2020, the witch was randomly given her initial skeleton spawn speed back. The first wave of skeletons was finally reverted back to one second, over one year after it was taken away. She could finally be used as a reactionary again. Of course, this didn't make much of a difference though, so she stayed in the shadows. Finally, the witch's last balance change to this day happened on March 30th, 2021, where her range was increased from 5 tiles to 5.5 tiles. So overall, she has received a few buffs since she was killed from the 2019 rework, but she never really fully recovered. Her skeleton spawn speed is still slow, being 7 seconds in between waves, and her health still leaves her as a fireball lead. And for those who don't know, a fireball lead is an informal term that describes a troop that dies to a fireball plus a zap. It can make a big difference if a troop dies to a fireball plus zap or not, since those last remaining hit points can allow troops to get a lot of value. For example, the Archer Queen right now is not a fireball Lee, as when she gets fireballed and zapped, she still has a little bit of health left. I think this is the biggest problem with the Witch right now. As a 5 elixir card, being a fireball Lee just doesn't work. If you have the proper spells, she's super easy to counter. Otherwise, she can be a nuisance if viable. This is why people who ran Poison after the rework didn't have much of a problem with the Witch. She was still super easy to counter with the Poison, but without it, she was almost impossible to stop. It just makes it too easy to get a positive elixir trade against her. The Wizard also has the exact same problem currently in the game right now. However, there is another thing preventing Supercell from buffing Witch too much, and that's mid ladder. Mid ladder is a completely different environment from challenges or high ladder play. Certain cards thrive in the mid ladder environment that are unused or unheard of outside of it. This is the problem with cards such as Mega Knight, Wizard, and you guessed it, the Witch. To some players, we might think a Witch needs a buff to be viable, but to these players at a lower level, Witch might be a terror to deal with for them and it may appear much more often for them than it does for other people. Buffing the Witch could make the experience worse or even unplayable for these people. When buffing a card, you have to think of everything it will affect. The Witch is just an easier card to play than most cards. The mechanics are very simple and easy to learn, and this makes more players more comfortable with this card. This entices people to level her up and have her be a much higher level than the other cards she's going up against in the arena. Supercell has explained this is a reason why they are afraid to touch certain cards and is likely one of the reasons they are afraid to touch the Witch again. So that begs the question, what should Supercell do? What do I think they should do? Well, if you're asking me, I think Supercell should just try to rework the Witch again. But whatever they decide to do, just make sure her health is higher. Taking her out of that fireball -y range is what's going to make her viable in a competitive environment the most. That's just my opinion though. We don't know how much testing Supercell has done with the Witch. Maybe they've tried something like that before and it just didn't work. But personally, I think the Witch was in her closest to balanced state before she lost so much of her health. Why not try the middle ground with the skeleton spawn speed? If 5 seconds was too fast and 7 seconds seems to be too slow, go with 6 seconds. But let me know what you guys think about the Witch. Should Supercell buff her? Should they rework her? Should Supercell leave her as nothing but a distant memory? I'm curious to see what you guys think, because I feel like she's not talked about much anymore, as if we've just accepted as where she is forever to be her place. And that is the story of Clash Royale's Witch, the card that has been one of the, if not the most overpowered cards in Clash Royale history to being the literal worst. As someone who has played Clash Royale since the beginning, observing Witch and her journey throughout Clash has been more interesting to me than any other card in the game. She feels like such an underdog, always striving to be better, but always having a tough time, and I respect that. 
I feel like she has been done wrong by Supercell. Every time she becomes viable, she's nerfed way too harshly and is right back to being useless. And it takes months or even years to become buffed again. Meanwhile, when other cards such as Magic Archer or Executioner were killed, they're buffed properly within a month again. It's just not fair. Even though she is somewhat popular in mid ladder, I really do hope Supercell can make her competitively viable again and find that sweet spot. She's been struggling for so long and I hate to see it. To me, Witch is just a fun card to see, and it finally felt like she was part of the game after so long when she was viable for those brief periods in 2018 and 2019. It's sad to me to see her practically abandoned and forgotten by Supercell nowadays. It's as if they think she's run her course and she won't be worth going back to. She's been out of the meta for years now, and it seems more unlikely by the day that she will ever be changed again. They even added a new troop to spawn skeletons, which just seems like a smack in the face to the witch, honestly. I just hope this video will spread the roller coaster tale of the witch and raise awareness to her. From Queen to Forgotten. I learned a lot while researching for this video, and I hope you did too. Let me know if there's any more cards you would like me to make an historical analysis video on, and make sure to subscribe so you don't miss it. There are many great stories of many different Clash Royale cards that need to be told. Thank you all for listening, and I'll see you all in the next one.